Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Being embarrassed to wear shorts or show your legs is more than just a fashion problem. Spider or varicose veins can be a bigger indication of serious medical problems. Let's get some expert advice now from Dr. Billy Kim. He's a board certified vascular surgeon. Nice to have you with us today. Thank you. Nice All right, here. so you say this is more than just, um, you know, an unsightly problem. It, it could be a bigger medical concern. Talk about that. Yes, absolutely. So simply because you have some spider veins or varicose veins in your legs, uh, it's not just a simple cosmetic problems. Now, a lot of times patients may have problems of swelling, pain, fatigue, heaviness in the legs, and uh, just really difficulty getting uh, up and about. And uh, in addition to that, having varicose veins and spider veins could be uh, like, it's like the tip of the iceberg. There could be something underneath that needs to be addressed. So when you evaluate someone like <coughs> that, what, what kinds of things are you finding? So we usually do, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a physical exam in the history to figure out how long it's been going on for. Do they have any strong family history? Have they had blood clots before? And then also an ultrasound to see if there is incompetency of the valves within the veins. Okay, we've got some before and after pictures. And looking at this first one, I would have thought perhaps that this was a varicose vein. But <coughs> you say that it's actually not. No, so the first one, uh, pictures. It'll pictures. be coming up in okay. just a moment, I'm sure. <laughs> there it is. So those are actually reticular veins. They're okay. kind of like in between spider veins and varicose veins. The reticular veins, they're all in the same family and they're kind of dependent on the diameter of the veins. Uh, in these cases, this was actually treated with uh, sclerotherapy, which is an injection to close off these uh, more unsightly veins. Okay, and our next one, though, is <coughs> a varicose vein situation. Yeah, so the next one is uh, more ropey, large veins that you would actually be able to see from across the room. Uh, these are removed, um, something called staph phlebectomies. So what that is is actually physically removing the varicose veins that are in your, in your legs. And so that doesn't cause a circulation problem afterwards? No, it doesn't. So these are, uh, like, I like to call them cul-de-sacs in your legs. So they're really not really connected with the, the main flow out of your legs. Uh, and these have stretched out due to pressure. Uh, again, it could be a family history related to it. And so physically removing these veins doesn't affect any flow. And I think we have one more picture we can show, another case of varicose veins. These are not limited to just women. Men have these equally. Yes, yeah, so uh, predominantly women know some more. Men mm -hmm. do have them. They do run in families. Uh, risk factors include um, family history, uh, staying on your feet for a long period of time, uh, multiple pregnancies, obesity is a risk factor. Also, um, having blood clots uh, in the past uh, puts you at risk for having these varicose veins. All right, so how long did these treatments take and what's the recovery rate? So it really depends on what is involved in treatment. So if it's simply closing off and something called ablation of the uh, saphenous vein, it doesn't take that long, maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Uh, if you have extensive amounts of varicose veins, that will require a little bit more time because we actually physically remove the uh, varicose veins um, with little small incisions. Okay, and I, I would imagine you want to be sure you're seeing a board-certified vascular surgeon for this and not just going to a, a spa or something like yes. that. Yes, so uh, some of these procedures can have complications and so you want to make sure that uh, as a patient that you are really taking the time to uh, do your research. I think a lot of women spend more time uh, picking out shoes than looking for their doctors. Uh, so finding a board certified vascular surgeon would be the ideal case. All right, thank you so much for being with us Dr. Kim. The surgical clinic is in Hermitage. We're going to link you to their website.